And there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus, Jesus knows all about our struggles. And he will guide till the day is done. And there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. Singing, no, not one. Singing, Jesus knows all about our struggles. And he will guide till the day is done. And there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Singing, Jesus knows all about our struggles. And he will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the Lord Jesus. No, no, not one. There is no, no not one. Singing, Jesus knows all about our struggle. And he will guide till the day is done. And there is, there's not a friend like the Lord. No, not one. No, not one. I'm singing. No, not one. Singing, Jesus knows all about our struggle. And he will, and he will God till the day is done. There's not, there's not a friend like the Lord. No, not one. No, not one. I'm singing. No, no not, not one. one. Tell him Jesus knows all about our struggles. And he will guide till the day is done. And there's not a friend like the Lord. No, not one, no, not one, singing, no, not one, I'm singing, Jesus knows all about our struggle, and he will guide, he will guide, till the day is done, there's not a friend, there's not a friend like the Lord. Say, there's not a friend, there's not a friend like the Lord. There's not a friend, there's not a friend, there's no friend. Sing, there's not a friend, there's not a friend, there's not a friend, there's not a friend like the Lord. No, not one, no, not one, no, not one. Jesus knows all about our He knows. And he will guide till the day is done. Oh, there's not a friend like the Lord. No, not one. No, no, not one. One more time. Oh, Jesus knows all of us. Sing it like you mean it. Our 
struggle. Oh, and he, he will guide. He will guide you. The day hey. is done. Oh, there's, there's not, not a friend like the Lord. He's a friend like no other. No, not one. Oh, no, no not, not one. one. Come on and give the Lord a praise. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. He's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He's a friend that loveth at all times. Amen. So we certainly do thank and praise the Lord for that song on today. Truly, it touches my heart and the sentiment of my spirit. Thank you, Lord. There's certainly not a friend like Jesus. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, we want to give God glory and honor for all that he has done for us and through us and to us. We want to magnify the name of the Lord for his protection and his guidance. Thank you, Lord, and how he has made ways where it seemed to be no way. We certainly do praise and thank the Lord for our lovely wife, First Lady Tracy Quinn. We thank God for her. Uh, Pastor Duck in her absence, we thank God for Mother Louise. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for Evangelist Arrington, Minister Grady. Amen. And we got a soloist up there on the immediate team. We thank God for Brother Duru. Amen. Up there. Hallelujah. Three people in one. Uh, hallelujah. He's a trinity. <laughs> and we thank, you, thank God for our ushers. Hallelujah. On today. Thank you, Lord. Now, I want y'all, I want to say this since I said that. The Bible don't teach Trinity. Amen. So I got to say that. Put it out there. <laughs> so you say, Pastor Quinn teaching the Trinity. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But we certainly do praise God for the service thus far and what God is doing for us and how the ways that he's made uh, as he is our strength and our shield and our buckler. Amen. So we want to go before the Lord in prayer. If you have a particular prayer request, uh, let it be known at this particular time. Hey, glory. Uh, Mother Louise Davis. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen, Sister um, Yolanda. Praise the Lord. Amen. First Lady. Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. Deacon Fields. Yes. 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 Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Powerful. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Powerful prayer requests um, and nothing too hard for the Lord. Amen. We want to ask the church to stand at this time. We certainly do thank God for also for Sister Amanda. Amen. She holding it down too. Amen. Thank God. Let every heart pray, O oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. We certainly do thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for how you blessed us and made ways where it seemed to be no way. We ask you, Lord, that you look on each and every request that's been made known. Look upon, Lord, men and women and children everywhere. Lord, save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. Lord, there's an urgency in the air. There's an urgency for your deliverance. There's an urgency for your healing. Lord, we need you like never before. We need you, Lord, to manifest your grace, manifest your power, manifest your virtue, manifest your healing, manifest your deliverance. Lord, you save in the name of Jesus as we lift up the name of Jesus, as we magnify the name of the Lord. You say, if I be lifted up, you'll draw all men unto you. Lord, we lift you up on today. We magnify your holy name. Hallelujah, Lord. We need a saving in the atmosphere. We we need a saving in our city. We need a saving in our homes. We need a saving and a deliverance, Lord, in our hearts and in our spirit. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you strengthen. Hallelujah. That you move, Lord, by your grace. And, Lord, that we ask you, Lord, that you grant the door of utterance. Let your word be made known. Let your word be made magnified. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we pray this prayer. Hallelujah. Trusting in you. Believing in you. Hallelujah. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. And we ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every unspoken request. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord, as you remain standing. We're going to ask Deacon Fields if he'll come and give us our scripture reading. Hallelujah. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Can't nobody do you like the Lord. Can't nobody love you like Jesus. Can't nobody do you like the Lord. Hallelujah. He's a comforter. He's a guide. He's a friend that sticketh closer than any brother. And has let us get ready to receive our scripture reader in Jesus' name. Amen. I mean, no, all the word of God is good. Yes, Let us turn to the 93rd division of the book of Psalms. It reads as thus, the Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength. Wherewith he has girded himself. The world also is established that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old. Thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house, O Lord, forever. May the Lord have blessings in reading of his word. 
Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. How many of you have victory this morning? How many of you woke up with victory on your mind because you know the Lord has done so much for you and the things that you're praying, that you're waiting on, you know that he's going to solve those problems and bring you through. So this morning, we're just going to get the word victory in our mind and praise him for who he is and the things that he's doing. When I rose this morning, I didn't have no doubt. I knew that the Lord would bring me out. So I fell down on my knees and said, Lord, help me, please. And got up singing, shouting, victory. Say, victory is, victory is, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, I told Satan get, thee get thee behind. Victory today. Now sing, victory is mine. Victory is mine. victory today. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, I told Satan get, thee get thee behind. Victory today. Victory today is mine. Come on, tell him that love is mine. Love is mine. Love today is mine. Tell him peace is mine. Peace is mine. Peace today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Peace today. Peace today is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy today. Said when I rose this morning, I didn't have no doubt. Said I knew that the Lord would bring me out. So I fell down on my knees and said, Lord, help me please. And got up singing, shouting, victory. Victory is victory is victory is mine. Victory today. I told Satan, get thee behind. Get thee behind. Victory, today. Victory today is mine. Come on, one more time. Sing, victory is mine. Whoa. Victory, victory is, is mine. Victory today. Victory today is mine. Say, I told Satan, I told Satan get thee behind. Get thee Sing, behind. I told Satan, I told Satan get thee behind. Get thee behind. Say, I I told Satan to Satan get thee behind. Get thee Sing, behind. I told Satan I told to Satan get thee behind. Get thee behind. Sing, I told Satan I told to Satan get thee behind. Sing, I told Satan to Satan get thee behind. Because victory, victory today is mine. Come on, and hallelujah. Truly, victory today, not tomorrow, victory today is ours. Come on and give the Lord a praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. We certainly do praise God for the ways that he has making for each and every one of us. We praise God for his, our life, health, and portions of strength that he has given to each and every one of us. And truly, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, there's no telling where we would be. Amen. And we want to uh, continue our service, uh, moving it uh, right along. And we certainly do praise God for each and every one of you being here on today. Amen. Truly, the Lord is our helper and he is our strength, a very present help, the Bible says, in the time of trouble. 
And as we get ready to uh, move into our giving portion of the service, amen, it's, the Bible says that it's more blessed to give than to receive. And we certainly do also want to keep um, uh, Michelle uh, Rump in our, uh, our minds and our spirit. Um, you know, she, her brother had that operation down there in Florida, and um, uh, there was some complications with that. And from with, uh, pardon me. Oh, I thought somebody said somebody. <laughs> oh, um, uh, and so we want to certainly pray for her. Uh, she's going to be going down, um, so we want to pray that the Lord will bless in a mighty way. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And as we get ready to give, we certainly do want to bless the Lord. The Bible says he loves a cheerful giver. Amen? Amen. So we want to ask Deacon Fields if he would come forward at this time with our offering baskets. And um, y'all pray, saints. Um, um, we know that uh, uh, God is our keeper, God is our protector, and we certainly want the Lord to, to guard us and to protect us uh, from dangers seen and unseen, that he will continue to be our comfort and our guide. Amen. Here goes Sister Michelle there now. Come on, give God a praise for her. <laughs> Amen. We were just telling them that your brother had some complications Amen, and that you'll be, you still planning on going down tomorrow? Amen, so we'll be uh, praying for your safety. Amen. Thank you, Lord. How many of you know the prayers of the righteous availeth much? The Bible says the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. And also, I got a, a niece, my brother's daughter. Uh, pray for her. She needs much prayer as well. Uh, let let the church stand as we prepare to give unto the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, glory. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly thank you for this opportunity to sow seed into the kingdom. We thank you, Lord, for being our help, being our strength, being our very present help in the time of trouble. We pray, Lord, that you continue to keep us and watch over us and lead us and guide us in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every one that is about to give, to sow seed. Make it 30, 160 fold blessing in the name of Jesus. And Lord, use it for your glory and for the building of your kingdom. Father, we thank you and praise you in Jesus' precious and mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. Oh, give thanks. Unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Say, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. He's worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Sing, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Sing, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. He's worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. The Lord is worthy. He's worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Sing, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Sing, oh, give thanks unto the lord for he is good yes he is good oh give thanks unto the lord for he is good yes he is good the lord is worthy yeah he's worthy for he is good yes he is good the lord is worthy He's worthy, for he is good. 
For yes, one more time, the Lord is worthy. Yes, He's worthy. For oh, He is good. Yes, He is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Come on. For He is good. Yes, He is good. Sing, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For He is good. Yes, he is good. Come on and give the Lord a praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible tells us to enter in his gates with thanksgiving and that we should always enter in his courts with praise. Amen. And we're in the courtroom of the Lord, so we should always praise him. The praise of the Lord is, is not a suggestion, but a command from the Lord. We are commanded to praise him. We are commanded to give him thanks because he is good. Amen. Hallelujah. He is good. And I, I love it in my spirit uh, when I say this, that, that he's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. Thank you, Lord. And that's why I don't mind it when he commands us to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. My God, I thought I saw something behind me. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And them just man spirits. <laughs> Dave, you keep an eye on me back there, brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we certainly do praise God for all that he is doing and all that he is because he is our strength and he is our joy. And as we know that if you walk around the church, we're starting to get our some of our packing done amen and we want uh, to have a packing party on this coming saturday at 10 o'clock uh, we want to focus on the kitchen uh, get some of those things packed up so those that are uh, more than able uh, those that are willing to come and, and join in that packing party amen hallelujah truly god is uh, causing us to move ahead and I praise God. There's been some bumps in the road, but as you know, that's such as life. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Uh, but God is truly a good God, and he makes ways where it seemed to be no way. And we also uh, want to uh, invite people out onto our Sunday school. Now, yeah, our Sunday school, which is at uh, 930 on Sunday mornings and our 11 a.m. worship. Uh, we also want to invite you to our Wednesday uh, night Bible study, amen, where we uh, teach the word of God and we're working on vision. Thank you, Lord, for uh, until the Lord says uh, differently. So we want you to come out at 6 o'clock and receive of our Bible study. And also, too, um, this Thursday coming up, this Thursday, we'll have a, a Zoom meeting. Uh, and that will be at uh, 7 o'clock. Thank you, Lord. So um, those that have given me uh, their emails, we'll certainly send those out to you uh, for the Zoom uh, meeting. Those of you who I don't have an email for, text me your email. Amen. So I can get you on that line and send that link out to you. Uh, we had a glorious time the previous week before last. Um, and um, we're looking to have another glorious time fellowshipping, testimony, and prayer. Amen? Hallelujah. It's good for the saints to dwell together in unity. All righty. Amen. So as we get ready to look toward the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on in, sis. Thank you, Lord. As we look ready to the word of the Lord. I want to invite your attention uh, to the book of Habak, uh, Habakkuk, or Habak. Thank you, Lord, the book of Habak. And uh, I want you to turn with me uh, to chapter uh, number two, chapter number two. And we'll be looking at uh, specifically verse number four. The 
Deacon Field says, how much, how many of y'all love the word? <laughs> Not too many. <laughs> Thank you. We love the word of the Lord. Back uh, chapter number two and verse number four. If you have it, say amen. And it says, in your hearing on today, let us stand in reverence to the word of the Lord. It says, behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Let us read that verse of scripture again. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Let us read that one more time all together. It says, Behold. The just shall live by his faith. Oh, gracious Father, in the precious and the mighty name of Jesus, we certainly do thank you, Lord, for this opportunity this opportunity to stand behind this sacred desk at this sacred hour and this sacred moment to consecrate ourselves unto you. Lord, we ask you to consecrate everyone under the sound of my hearing, those that are in the sanctuary and those that are virtual. We pray, Lord, that you sanctify our hearts and our minds and tune in our spirit to bring us in, Lord, that we may receive of your word that we may grow, that we may be matured, that we may be strengthened, that we may be able to rightly divide the word of truth. We pray, Lord, that you feed your great people uh, as we decrease so that you may increase in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. As you are headed towards your seat on today, this still this great morning. I want to uh, literally invite your attention to that uh, verse number four, where it says that B clause that talks about, but the just shall live by his faith. And that's our subject on today. The just shall live by faith in God's plan. The just shall live by faith according to God's plan. And this particular book uh, was written by its author by the name of Habakkuk. And Habakkuk, the Bible tells us, and looking at his history, was a prophet in Judah for a space of 23 years. His Ministry spanned it for 23 years. And when you literally begin to look at other prophetic books, other prophetic books were written to bring God's word to the people. But the book of Habakkuk stands out as special. It literally brings the people's question to God. It literally focuses on the people's questions, and it brings them to God. Some scholars say that this particular book was a, a book of lament, which means a book of sorrow, a book of sorrow, a book of turmoil, a book of uh, a prayer. And it literally, in the third chapter, it brings you a prayer that uh, Habakkuk is offering up unto God. But this particular book, it has some questions. It has some questions in chapter 1 and 2. It's literally three chapters long. 
But in chapter 1 and 2, Habakkuk asks God two questions. And the first question is dealing with Israel. And uh, the question goes to the fact that he's asking God, God, why are you allowing Israel to get so wicked? Why aren't you punishing them for their wickedness? Why aren't you chastening them because their evil ways and their evil deeds are going unpunished? He's looking and asking God, God, why don't you correct your people? Do you not see what's going on? Do you not see the violence that you're allowing my eyes to see? Uh, you, do you not care that your people are going wayward, that they are not living up to your word? Don't you care? Have you turned your back on us? He's asking God these questions. And, and as you begin to read in that first chapter how he's asking God, you can sense an air or a sense of attitude in his, his request or in his questioning of God. And uh, God then begins to answer his first question, and he said, well, uh, I'm going to raise up uh, a nation. Notice what I said. God said, I'm going to raise up a nation called the Chaldeans or the Babylonians, and uh, they're going to chasten Israel. They're going to straighten them out. That was God answering his question. And Habakkuk was saying, God, God, you're just and, and you're a holy God, a God that, that has wisdom, a God that has understanding. And, and Lord, I have to ask you another question is, Lord, why are you raising up this nation, a, a nation that is more wicked than Israel to chasten your people? Why? God, uh, sometimes I feel like people are never satisfied with, with the answers of God. But God said that, that, that he was going to raise up the Chaldeans and raise up this nation. And, and he was going to allow them to chasten Israel. And Habakkuk is saying, God, why will you allow a wicked, a more wicked nation than your people to chasten your people? You have to understand that, that God in his in wisdom and in his knowledge and in his understanding is, is said he would raise up this nation, a nation that would be mighty, that nation that would be strong. The, the Babylonians would be uh, swifter than Israel and the, the fight would be out of balance. The fight would seem to be as, as not a good analogy as David and Goliath because we know who won that battle, but the, the, the odds would be extremely against Israel and they would literally, uh, by uh, Habakkuk standards, annihilate them. Uh, sometimes we, we in our own mind have uh, one thing, but God in his own mind has another thing. So God... Uh, Habakkuk says to God, 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 why would you do such a thing? And, and he, he says to God, God, I'm going to go up on my watch and I'm going to stand upon the tower and I'm going to sit there until you give me an answer, till you give me an answer to my question. And, and then he, he pauses and said, Lord, if you rebuke me, I'm going to wait for that as well. Because he had to come to an understanding that who he was dealing with, and he, at the end of his question, his second question, he begins to humble himself, and, and that's when God moves in, and he begins to talk to Habakkuk. He told him, he told him to write the vision. I want you to write this vision and make it plain, so that he that readeth will be able to run. I want you to write what I'm about to tell you on two tables, on two tables of stone so that there will be a record of what I am about to do because what I'm about to do, your, your ears are going to tingle. What I'm about to do is going to literally 
blow your mind. So God says, I want you to write this vision that he may run that readeth it for the vision that I'm about to give you concerning my people is for an appointed time and at the end it shall speak. It shall make you know that I was telling the truth when what I'm saying to you has come to pass. And the Bible says, though it tarry, uh, though the time frame which I'm giving to you that when all these things are going to happen, it won't happen expediently, but I need you to wait for it because it would surely come. The, what God has said in his word, it shall surely come come to pass what God has said in his word it shall come to pass and though it doesn't happen quickly it doesn't happen suddenly it will happen it will come to pass we have a saying of our own selves that he may not come when we want him but God is always right on time and he said though it tarry I need you to wait for it because when it does happen it's going to happen quickly when it does happen it's going to happen suddenly uh, so her back begins to write what God was beginning to put in his ears about his plan about what God was about to do concerning his people what God is about to do concerning the evil that was going on in the land my my brothers and sisters sometimes sometimes the the problem is not in God's ways but the problem sometimes is our understanding of what God's way is for our life Sometimes, let me say it again, it's not with God. Our, our problem is not with God, but our problem sometimes when we run into difficulty, when we run into difficult questions and difficult problems, it's not in God's plans, but it's in our understanding of God's plan. We, we have a time or we have trouble understanding the ways of God, and, and that's not unnatural because the Bible says that his ways are not our ways, that God's thoughts are not our thoughts. His Bible tells us that his ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts and the thoughts of God are greater than our thoughts. The wisdom of God is greater than our own wisdom and the power of God is greater than our own own power so uh, that's why the Bible says that trust in the Lord lean not to your own understanding but to acknowledge God just acknowledge God and he shall direct thy path we we can't lean to our own understanding when we're dealing with the issues of life we can't lean to our own understanding when we ask that question why why am I here why have you allowed this to happen to me why am I going Going through this haven't I served you God haven't I been faithful haven't I looked to you haven't I prayed haven't I, I read your Bible haven't I done what you told me to do but God why are such and such things happening to me why are things happening to my friends and to my family to my loved ones Lord I need to know why so God God in his infinite wisdom in his infinite understanding we have to realize brothers and sisters that God has a plan that that God has a plan that that God has a plan that God has a plan that nothing happens outside of God's purview that nothing happens in this world without God's permission that that we have to realize 
Christ that all things work together. Uh, all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are the called according to his purpose. Uh, God has a plan. God has a way of making himself known. God has a way of opening doors that seem to be shut. God has a way to receive glory and honor and praise in the midst of turmoil in the midst of testing trials God has a way of humbling ourselves God has a way to cause me to look to him to make me to realize that all of my help comes from the Lord God has a way to make you realize that it is not of your own power it is not of your own strength but it is by his power it is by his might it is by the strength strength of the Lord. God has a way that to let us to know that don't fear when sudden calamity, when sudden destruction comes upon you. He tells you to turn your heart and trust in God. Turn your mind and trust in God. Turn your spirit and trust in God. Though, though, though you may be in trouble, though trouble may be at your doorstep. Uh, he that keepeth Israel, he never slumbers, nor does he sleep. God is a God that is able to do exceeding. God is a God that is able to do a Abundantly. Uh, that's why David said that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Uh, he leadeth me beside the still waters. He, he has a way of restoring my soul. Uh, and yea, though I walk through the valley of a shadow of death, uh, God has a way to tell you, you don't have to fear any evil. Why? Because I am with thee. Oh, my rod and my staff, they comfort thee. He said, I'm so tough, I'm so bad, I'll prepare you a table before your enemies and I'll anoint your head with oil and cause your cup to run over. Why? Because my goodness and my mercy, it shall follow you all the days of your life. Oh, my friend, we have to understand that God has a plan that there is no temptation that can take you but such as common to man but your God is faithful how many of you know today that your God is faithful uh, if you don't get anything else out of this sermon you gotta know that your God is faithful that you are a child of God that, that doesn't matter what life you come from that you belong to God that he has given you breath that he has given you life it is in him you live it is in him you move it is in him you have your being that's why when sudden trouble when it comes upon us we used to sing a song that says trouble in my way I have to cry sometimes but I know that Jesus somebody say Jesus I know that Jesus, uh, he'll fix it uh, after a while. Uh, after a while, uh, it'll all be over. Uh, after a while, uh, the S-O-N is going to shine. Uh, after a while, uh, dark clouds will be over uh, and we'll sing uh, and we'll shout uh, hallelujah. Uh, after a while, uh, come on and clap your hands. Uh, and give God a praise. Give him a praise in the sanctuary. You see, God, God was telling her back. He was letting him know that I have a plan. And my plan is sure. My plan is going to happen. Before I go to my next point, I want you to know that God has a plan for your life. That God has a plan concerning everything that happens to you. 
Oh, that nothing happens to you that is outside of God's sight. Nothing happens to you that God doesn't know, that God doesn't see, that God doesn't understand. And nothing happens to your situation. Nothing happens to your loved ones. Nothing happens to your enemies. Nothing happens to your friends that is outside the scope of God. The Bible tells us that God sits upon the circuit and his eyes is over his creation. God knows and understands his great creation and his power that nothing by no means anywhere at any time can conquer your God. Oh, you ought to clap your hands and give God a praise because he's never lost a battle. He's never lost a fight. Oh my God. He declared the end from the beginning. He knows that Kabosh. I feel a praise on the inside that he knows all about your struggles. He can be touched with the feelings of your infirmities. He knows your weakness. He knows your thoughts from afar off. Even before you think it, God has already known what's going to enter into your mind. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Who wouldn't put their trust not in man? But I'm putting my trust in God. You ought to give God a praise. You ought to give God a praise. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out, Hallelujah. Do I got any hallelujah saints in the house? Do I got any hallelujah people in the house? Do I got anybody that is in the house that knows that it's hallelujah? Anyhow, it's hallelujah. Anyhow, I see why Job said, Though you slay me, yet will I trust you. My hope is in nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. Come on and give God a praise. Oh my God. You see God, he begins to talk with her back. He begins to open up the vision that he was about to reveal unto him. And he let him know, God said, though the wicked seem to triumph, Though the wicked seem to get an advantage, eventually they will be judged and the righteous will prevail. Oh, my God. It may not happen quickly. It may not happen when you want it. Oh, but it surely will happen. And when it happens, the righteous will emerge. Oh, the sanctified will emerge. Those that put their trust in me, they're going to come out on top. Oh my God, when it looks like you're failing, when it looks like things are going by the wayside, that's when the weak need to say I'm strong. That's when you need to fall down on your knees and begin to praise God for what he's about to do. Oh my God, when the enemy comes up against you like a flood, you're in a strong position. When the devil tries to destroy you, you're the strongest that you ever will be. Why? Because God is on your side. Because God is your strength. Because God is your refuge. God is your avenger. He's let the weak say I'm strong. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. When you're confused, you're at your strongest point. When you seem like you can't go any further, you're at your strongest point. Why? 
because God is there. He'll carry you through the highest mountain. He'll take you through the lowest valley. He'll allow the fire to overtake you. He'll cause your enemy to fall down at your side. Why? Because God, he has a plan. Come on and clap your hands and give God a praise. Oh my God, I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. You see, God told her back. He told him that the enemy, that the wicked are going to see their day. And you don't have to worry about your naysayers, about your enemies, about those that are trying to bring you down. Because your God who is rich in mercy who is mighty in power he knows how to deliver the godly out of ungodliness he knows how to deliver you out of every temptation of every foil of every plot of the enemy doesn't the hunter prepare the net before his prey in vain. What are you saying brother? When you see that your enemy has laid a trap you can go around it that's what God is God sees the enemy lay a trap for you and if you trust him he'll lead you around it he won't let you fall in it that trap that they laid for you they will fall in it why? Because God, he's in control. Somebody say God, he's in control. Somebody say God, he's in control. In my conclusion, oh my God, we've got to see brothers and sisters, though we in Endure, though we may endure hardness, though we may endure suffering, suffering and pain, and though we may suffer loss, we've got to remember that God has a plan. Though I may go through hell and high water, I know God has a plan. Though the enemy may come up against me, I know God has a plan. Though the devil is trying to sift me as wheat, though the devil is trying to take me out, I know God has a plan. That plan, it may take time to develop, but rest assured, God has a plan. And when the back, when it begins to hear all that God will do, all that God will do, and he got some understanding, though he went through what he went through, he realized that Israel was going to go through a hard time because of their sin. They were going to go through some difficulty because of their own actions but God would never leave them but God would never forsake them but God would turn to them and to deliver them oh my God sometimes we may suffer for the foolishness of our own deeds sometimes we may have made some bad decisions made some bad choices you going to suffer for your choices but rest assured your God won't forsake you your God won't leave you he will bring you out and turn your mess into a testimony he'll turn your struggle and your pain into a victory protocol you ought to give God a praise in this place God knows how to deliver God knows how to bring you out it doesn't matter what you have done it doesn't matter where you have been if you 
put uh, your trust in Jesus. Uh, everything, uh, not just some things, uh, but everything uh, is going to be all right. Uh, it's going to be all right. Uh, if you trust God, uh, he'll turn your doubts uh, into faith. Uh, if you trust God, uh, he'll change your confusion uh, into trust. Uh, if you believe, uh, God will make a way. God will make a way. Somebody say God will make a way. When I'm back heard, my God, what God was about to do, the Bible said that he rejoiced in the Lord. When you find out God's plan for your life, you ought to rejoice in the Lord. He said, I will joy in the God of my salvation. He said, the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. And he will make my feet like hinds feet. Make my feet sure. Make my feet confident. Uh, he'll turn my high places into low places. Meaning those mountains that seem to be too hard to climb. If you trust in God's plan, he'll bring those things low. So that you can be more than a conqueror through him that trusts you. God is able. When you bring your questions to God, you ought to expect an answer. <laughs> when you bring your, your questions to God, you ought to, you ought to bring them in a way where you allow God to answer. And when God answers, know that God has a plan. He said, you got to have faith in the plan of God. That's why he said, the just shall live by his faith. You don't live by my faith. I don't live by your faith. I live by my faith, my trust in God. And when you trust God and you believe God, you can be in an impossible situation. But your faith and trust is in God who can do the impossible. Hallelujah. God specializes in the impossible. There's no weapon that has come upon you but such as common to man. But your God is faithful. Somebody say, my God is faithful. My God is faithful. Sometimes life huh, is confusing. Amen. Sometimes the decisions we make are confusing and we don't understand. But God says, have faith. Have faith in my plan. Have faith in my ability. Have faith in my wisdom. Have faith in my will. Have faith in my power. Have faith in my might. Have faith in my salvation. Because he that shall come. <laughs> he that shall come. He that shall come, he will come, and he will not tarry. If you put your trust in the Lord, everything, I said everything, I said everything, I said everything, it's going to be all right. If you magnify the name of the Lord, if you lift him up, everything. I said everything. He said, let the weak say they strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In my last conclusion, hallelujah. My friends, thank you, Jesus. What I love about this sermon, what I love about the word that I've just given unto you, is that, you know, you don't have to be the brightest light bulb in the bunch. You just got to know where your help come from. You just got to look to the hills from which cometh your help and know that your help cometh from the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't have to know algebra. 
I don't know, I have to know the, the theory of relativity. I don't have to know this, I don't have to know that, but I gotta know that there is a God. There is a way maker. That there is a very present help in the time of trouble. And I gotta know that I got a savior and his name is Jesus. He's the lily of the valley and the bright and morning star. I got to lift up the name of Jesus. I don't got to know how to heal you. I just got to know the healer. I don't have to know which way to go. I just got to know the way maker. Some things are too high for us. Some things are too mighty for us. But if we put our trust in the Lord, everything, I said everything, I said everything, going to be all right. Come on and give God a praise. So rejoice. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Rejoice in the Lord. Trouble in your way? Rejoice. You don't understand? Rejoice. You, can, you don't know how it's going to way gonna be made? Rejoice. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Rejoice that you've got a savior. Rejoice that you've got a way maker. Rejoice that you've got a help. You just got to know the plan. Tell your neighbor, I just got to know the plan. And the plan is Jesus. I said the plan is Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't want the fire inspector to hear me. When I'm saying this, they close their ears. But we should have some evacuation plans on our walls. And you should look at them plans every now and then so that there is a fire. You don't have to think about it. You already know what the plan is. You already know what you should do. When trouble comes to your way, huh? you, ain't got, you shouldn't be thinking about what should I do. You know the plan. You know the way of escape. You know how to deal with your situation. And when you know the plan, you don't panic. You don't fear. You execute the plan. I got that one hot off the griddle. Hey, hallelujah. Come on and give God a praise. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and give God a praise. Live by your faith. Live by your faith. Die by your faith. Trust by your faith. Be confident in your faith. Trust in your faith in God's plan. Come on, give God a praise. If you put your trust in Jesus, everything's going to be. Oh, if you put your trust in Jesus, Everything's going to be If you put your trust in Jesus Everything's going to be Come on If you put your trust in Jesus Everything's going to be Everything's going to be alright 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 If you put your trust in Jesus Come on Everything will be alright How many of you believe that? If you put your trust in Jesus Hey, everything's gonna be alright. Oh, it's gonna be alright. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. It's gonna be 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 alright. If you put your 
trust in Jesus. Come on. Everything's going to be all right. Let's speak to your situation. If you put your trust in Jesus. Let's speak by faith to your problem. Right. Hey, it's going to be all right. 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 All right, all right. All right. All right, all right. All right, all right. All right, all right. If you put your trust in Jesus, are you trusting the Lord? Everything's gonna be all right. The Lord is my life. If you put your and my salvation, everything's gonna be all right. Come on, praise Him. Hey, trust in Jesus. Everything is going to be all right. The Lord is on our side. If you put your trust in Jesus, hey, everything is going to be all right. Come on. It's going to be all right. 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 Be all right. Be all right. It's going to 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 be all right. I'm a soldier in the army hey. of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army. I'm a sanctified soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army. Gonna be all right. Gonna be hey. all right. Gonna be 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 all right. 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 Be alright. Be alright. Gonna 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 be alright. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Everybody, Everybody ought to praise the Lord. Gonna be all right. 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 Be all right. Be all right. Gonna be all right. Be all right. Gonna be all right. Be all right. Gonna be all right. Be all right. You got to look at your situation. You got to speak to your mountain and say it's going to be all right. 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 Trouble in my way. 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 Gonna be all right. 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 Praise the Lord. 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 It's gonna be all right. Praise the Lord. Let the church stand. Let the church stand. Let the church shout the shout of victory. Let the church shout the shout of victory. Let the people of victory shout in the camp. Come on, shout with the voice of triumph. Shout with the voice of victory. Make a joyful noise. Give your God a praise. Hallelujah. Hey, Shadalabasha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, gracious Father, with uplifted hands, gracious Father, Lord, we thank you for this word on today. We thank you for the anointing that we have in this place, in this hour. We thank you for visiting us, letting us know that you have a plan, that you are our way maker, that you are our strength, that you are our shield, that you are our help. Hallelujah, that the enemy can't do nothing. Hallelujah, against us. Lord, we're not fearing today. Hallelujah. Somebody got that in their spirit. 
I feel it in my bones. We're not fearing on today what the enemy can do. Hallelujah, because you're greater. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And Lord, we count it done. And we thank you and we praise you. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, to present you faultless before his presence with exceeding joy, to the only wise God, to him be glory both now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Salute your brother and sister. Amen. Those that came in late and still want to give their offering, just give it to the ushers. Hallelujah. Trust God. Hallelujah. Trust God. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah, we should still be here. Yeah, we should. Okay, good. All right. 